Picture tucking your child into bed, only to wake up and discover they're gone without a trace. This nightmare became a reality for a family in Louisiana when 10-year-old Peyton disappeared overnight. For more than 24 hours, search teams scoured the woods, with a single clue captured on a trail camera intensifying the desperate search. How did she vanish, and where was she ultimately found? Stay tuned to uncover the chilling details of Peyton's miraculous rescue. Peyton St. Tignan, a 10-year-old girl from Louisiana, loved the quiet life of her small town. Like many kids her age, she enjoyed playing outside and exploring the woods near her family's home in Webster Parish. Her life was happy, filled with the simple joys and challenges of being a young girl. But on Saturday night, September 14th, everything changed. Peyton disappeared without a trace, leaving her family and the entire community desperate to find her. That night started like any other. Peyton was getting ready for bed in her favorite blue frozen pajamas, which reminded her of the magical world she loved. Her mom, Sarah, kissed her goodnight, thinking she'd fall asleep like always. But something unusual happened that night, something no one could have foreseen. The next morning, when Sarah went to check on Peyton, her bed was empty. Panic hit immediately. She searched the house, calling Peyton's name, but there was no response. Peyton's father, John, joined the frantic search their voices echoing through the silent home. As the minutes passed, a chilling realization set in, Peyton was gone. The Webster Parish Sheriff's Office was contacted immediately, and officers were dispatched to the scene. Within hours, a massive search was launched with law enforcement, local fire departments, wildlife experts, and even members of the Webster Parish School Board joining forces to locate the missing girl. Volunteers from the surrounding areas poured in, ready to help however they could. Peyton had been last seen wearing her blue pajamas, and she had no shoes, making the situation even more alarming. She wasn't prepared for the wilderness. Sheriff Jason Parker, who led the search, addressed the public in a heartfelt plea. This is every parent's worst nightmare, he said, but we are doing everything in our power to find her and bring her home safely. The search teams calmed through the dense woods surrounding the St. Tignan home, their efforts relentless as the day stretched on. Despite their determination, the hours dragged by with no sign of Peyton. As nightfall approached, the mood in the community grew somber. The search had become a race against time. We knew the woods would be a challenge, Sheriff Parker later explained. The terrain is thick and the nights are cold. We couldn't afford to waste a second. It was at that critical moment that technology came into play. The Sheriff's Office enlisted the help of thermal imaging equipped drones from Drone Management Services, a company based in Arkansas. The team, led by drone operators Josh Clover, Matt Ramos, and Micah Carter, had crossed state lines to lend their expertise in the search for Peyton. We've used these drones in other rescue missions, and they've proven to be invaluable, said Clover. The thermal imaging can detect body heat even in the densest woods, where it's almost impossible for people on the ground to see. The drones were deployed as soon as they arrived, but Sheriff Parker warned volunteers to temporarily stay clear of the woods so the drones wouldn't pick up false readings from other body heat sources. Every second was crucial as the drones scanned the forest and hope flickered among the search teams. Then finally, around 11 o'clock p.m. on Sunday night, more than 24 hours since Peyton had gone missing, there was a breakthrough. The thermal imaging picked up something. A small figure curled up on the forest floor just 300 yards from where a trail camera had captured an image of her earlier that morning. She was approximately 1.5 miles from her home. Clover recalls the tense moment they located her. We saw the shape of a little body, and for a second, everything froze. We all just held our breath, she wasn't moving, and we were terrified that something was wrong. Then she woke up. Yeah, it was pretty emotional for everybody. The team watched through the drone camera feed as rescuers approached the location. As they drew closer, their flashlights illuminated a small familiar figure, Peyton. She was asleep, curled up on the ground, her blue pajamas now dirty, and one shoe missing. She looked peaceful, completely unaware of the massive search effort that had been underway to find her. Sheriff Parker's voice broke the tense silence when he confirmed the news. We found her, she's safe. The relief that swept over the search teams was palpable. Peyton had been located, and she was alive. When the rescuers gently woke her, she was groggy but unharmed, save for some mosquito bites. She was immediately examined by EMS personnel, who confirmed that she was in remarkably good condition given her ordeal. After a quick assessment, 
Peyton was escorted back to her anxious family, who had been waiting at the command post with bated breath. She was hungry, tired, and a little confused, but she was okay. Sheriff Parker reported, it's truly a miracle. But how had this young girl ended up deep in the woods, miles from home, in the middle of the night? As the investigation unfolded, a key detail emerged that provided insight into Peyton's disappearance. Peyton had a history of sleepwalking. Though her family was aware of this condition, she had never ventured so far before. It was later confirmed by her parents that she had sleepwalked into the woods that night, likely without any awareness of where she was going. In an interview with Good Morning America, Sheriff Parker explained, Peyton's family said she's had episodes of sleepwalking in the past, but nothing to this extreme. This time, she walked far into the woods, which made the search especially challenging. Sleepwalking, or somnambulism, is a condition that causes people to perform activities while still asleep. It can include anything from sitting up in bed to walking around, and in rare cases, it can lead to situations as dangerous as Peyton's. Though sleepwalking often runs in families, the exact causes are still not fully understood. For Peyton, the woods near her home had always been a place of adventure, but on that fateful night, they became a maze she wandered through in a state of unconsciousness. The dense forest and the fact that she wasn't dressed for the outdoors added to the risk. But remarkably, despite the dangers, she survived the night unscathed. The discovery of Peyton was nothing short of miraculous, and it wouldn't have been possible without the coordination and dedication of everyone involved in the search. From the law enforcement officers to the hundreds of volunteers who calmed the area, everyone played a crucial role in bringing Peyton home. We had the DeSoto Parish helicopter in the air, and when it was time, the drum team really came through for us, Sheriff Parker said. It was a collective effort, law enforcement, wildlife experts, volunteers, and the entire community. We can't thank everyone enough. The people of Webster Parish were overjoyed when they heard Peyton was safe. Residents came together to celebrate and offered prayers of thanks for her return. For Peyton's parents, it was a huge relief. Their nightmare was finally over and they had their daughter back in their arms. In the following days, Peyton's family looked back on what had happened. We're just so grateful, her mother Sarah said. It's hard to explain how scared we were, but now we're just thankful she's back with us. With things calming down, the family decided to consult doctors about Peyton's sleepwalking, and the community began discussing ways to improve safety. For the drum team, it was mission accomplished. We're just happy we could help, Clover said. Seeing Peyton reunited with her family, that's what it's all about. Peyton's story highlights the strength of community, technology, and faith, showing that even in the darkest moments, miracles can happen. Her experience is a reminder that while sleepwalking often seems harmless, it can sometimes lead to danger. Peyton's parents now understand the condition better and are taking steps to keep her safe. For Peyton, she's simply glad to be home. I didn't even know I was lost, she said shyly, her innocence capturing the simplicity of childhood. Her story will be remembered in Webster Parish as one of hope, resilience, and the unbreakable bond of family, a story of survival that brought everyone together and will be cherished for years to come.